Hey, I'm Rebecca Friedlander. Welcome to my kitchen. I want to give you five ways to help kick COVID-19 and any bacterial or viral infection that you may be carrying. These five things are breakthrough nutritional ways to help boost your immune system and get you over the hump and start feeling back to normal. I want to tell you first of all that I'm not a medical professional, I'm not a nutritionalist, I've just discovered what's worked for me and for my community. I want to tell you also that if you have COVID-19 or you're struggling with an upper respiratory infection of any kind, call your doctor. Don't let this substitute for the medical wisdom that's there to benefit you and help you get through this. But you can use all of these things to supplement what they're telling you and to really help your body become strong and healthy so that you get the best out of their medical wisdom and you get to feeling your best really, really soon. So top five things. Number one is take your vitamins. Well, the first thing that I always go for is the vitamin C. Now your body cannot have too much vitamin C. Uh, it just stops absorbing it at a certain level. And so what you wanna do is to take vitamin C um, in stages throughout the day and so that your body has a chance to absorb it and it'll pass the rest through that it doesn't absorb. So you can't really overdo it, but you wanna do it within reason and in a very strategic way. And so what I will do is I'll take my C1000, this is a thousand milligrams of vitamin C, and I'll take two of these, so you're getting 2000, three to four times a day. Yes, that's a lot, but what happens is that you're feeding your body a constant source of vitamin C that helps kick all those nasty germs that are in your system and your body simply flushes out what it doesn't need. The second tip for overcoming a virus or bacterial infection is to use an antiseptic mouthwash multiple times a day. You can use Listerine, you can also go for something natural from your natural health food store, anything that fights bacteria that has that antiseptic quality. And what happens is that when you feel that nasal drip start to happen from your nose into your throat, of course that's when the bacteria or the virus starts spreading through your system. So if you can stop it there, or if you can start keeping it from happening even more, it's not gonna hit your system as strong. Take about a half capsule of this and gargle with it. Again, it helps open you up and it starts to stop that cycle of those germs. My third secret weapon is hot chicken broth, especially when it's made fresh. And if you have a hot pot, you are primed and ready to create your own amazing chicken broth. Chicken soup actually has an amino acid that thins the mucus in your lungs. It makes it easier to breathe. It really does have healing properties. I make my chicken soup by getting a whole frozen chicken. And what I'll do is just take it out of the package, put the whole chicken into my pot, fill it up with water, and then uh, do high pressure for two hours. And that's the equivalent of about six to eight hours in a crock pot. And what that does is it brings out all of the deep juices of the chicken and makes an incredible broth. It gets close to being a bone broth and it really does pull those healing properties out of the chicken and makes this amazing broth. And so um, I will even do this. You can use one chicken um, for a number of pots of soup, especially if you have a pressure cooker because you can drink down all the broth, put in a whole bunch, put in another half gallon of water, you know, throw it in your fridge, bring it out the next day, put it to high pressure for about 30 minutes and you'll have some more great broth. And so this particular chicken I've been using for a couple of days because I just love the broth that keeps coming out of it. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt this is straight out of my pot. I didn't put anything in here except chicken and water. So put a little bit of salt and then whatever you like. I'm gonna throw in a few thyme leaves, a little bit of onion powder. You can also add some noodles if you want. That suggests gluten-free because gluten actually adds to inflammation in your body. 
And that's the last thing that you need. So if you want something that's really uh, sticks to your bones a little bit, but it's not super hard to digest, go to the Asian department of a grocery store or send somebody else to go for you if you're sick and um, get some of the the thin rice noodles or the rice noodles they use for pad thai. And either one of those are super nourishing. It's so good. And once you have your broth, you can just throw your noodles in, maybe pop it on the stove for a couple minutes if you need to, just to boil it and get those noodles all yummy and soft. And it is the best comforting food when you're sick and it's super healthy for you. Oh, just some good chicken broth with a few herbs. Oh, just the best. Mm. Oh, super nourishing. My third tip for getting over COVID, a virus or a sinus infection is to make a really good green drink. So I'm gonna chop up a piece of celery. It's got that good salt kind of taste. So it makes it slightly flavorful. Oh. Of course, if you can get organic, that's great. I'm gonna use some spinach. And then I'm gonna pour in some water. I love doing this because sometimes, again, I'm not gonna sit around and drink a whole smoothie, but I can drink a glass of juice and it has just as much uh, vitamins and minerals packed inside. Plus it's really easy for your body to digest. So we're not actually putting something in your system that your stomach's gonna have to go, oh, I need to work on this. It's actually, Oh, quick to absorb because it's in the liquid state. So. Now you can drink it like this if you're really brave, but I sometimes like to have just a straight juice. And so I'm gonna get, it's called a nut milk bag. You can get these off of Amazon. They're really inexpensive and super simple. And it has a mesh kind of like cheesecloth in the bag, these are great. You can throw them in the dishwasher. They're super easy. So I'm gonna pour in and then just squeeze and strain out the extra liquid. And you can see there is barely any pulp remaining. We've literally pulverized almost the entire thing. That's as much as there's left. Mm. So good. So the reason why a green drink is so powerful is two reasons. First of all, it helps detox your blood. So chlorophyll goes in and actually cleans out your blood, keeps your system pure on that level. And the second thing is, is that it cleanses out your intestines. And we know how important gut health is for fighting off bacterial and viral infections. Plus, I noticed that when I do a good green drink, I have so much more energy. It's like fuel to my system. So it really goes after some of those yucky germs you don't want in your body and helps take care of them for you. And if you don't want to do a green drink, you can pick up liquid chlorophyll at your natural health food store. Take about a tablespoon of chlorophyll in a glass of water and it'll have that same healthy benefit. You can also get capsules if you prefer. I love doing the liquid because I'm just putting it right into my system. It absorbs it so fast and I can feel the results very quickly. My final tip for fighting COVID and sinus infections would be to make some elderberry tea from dried elderberries, the actual plant. You can order these from online and they actually are little tiny dried elderberries. So when you use these, you're getting the whole benefit of the berry. You're not just getting tea or um, something that's derived from elderberries, but there's something powerful about using that whole berry. It also fights viruses. It helps stimulate your immune system and get you back on track. And so the way that I love to make this is I'll take about two tablespoons to about three cups water. I'll bring it to a boil on my stove and then shut it off and let it steep. In about 10, 15 minutes, you'll have a really rich tea. Look how good and rich 
and deep that is. Now you can let it cool if you want to, or you can drink it hot. If you'd like some more flavor, you can throw in some cinnamon or cloves. Oh, so good. Now, if you don't want to purchase your own elderberries and make your own tea, you can also go to a natural health food store and you can find what's called elderberry honey or an elderberry drink. Make sure that it actually has elderberries in it, that it doesn't just have the flavoring of it. So that's another option if you don't want to make your own. If you work these five things, I think you'll notice some breakthrough and there'll sure be some benefits to your system. Um, and I would suggest doing all five of these things every single day when you're sick. Uh, make yourself your priority. Take some time to really invest your time and your energy into your health. And so that when you come out of feeling sick, your body's actually even better and stronger than it was before you got sick. And if you need some help kicking those last symptoms of COVID or bacterial infection, all of these things are meant to be natural medicine in food that will help strengthen your body from the inside out so that you'll be back to your old self in no time.